Hello students, we are now on our third set on the axioms. No? So let's have a review of what we discuss with the third and the fourth axiom. No? And the third one is the time value of money. We made mention that finance is all about the future no dial if since finance is all about the future in business math that's where we discuss the time value of money so it's about compounding and present value will be all about the processes of discounting the good thing is if if uh, you're talking about the past uh, it will bridge the gap between the present and the future no uh, with regards to timing differences and it would even uh, give you the the benchmark or the basis no so what makes the playing field or the arena uh, somehow uh, the perspective be on the same uh, set no that would be because of the time value of money because it's so crucial if you know uh, what arena or what area you're actually playing at now uh, since when you talk about future you would be setting your expectation the good thing with time value of money it will tell us how your decisions that we made now today will actually have an effect in the in the future and this would tell us how would this have an impact to the direction of the fear and if we know the real reality would be able to uh, at least uh, reflect and retool for us to make an adjustment kasi para lang yang sa isang relasyon no ah uh, ang importante pag inapply natin yan dito sa incremental cash flow analysis ay uh, ano daw uh, ang time value of money sasabihin niya sa iyo kung kung magtatagal ba yung relasyon niyo kung meron ba talagang forever kasi di ba sa math doon sa business math doon nagkakaroon ng perpetuity doon yung discussion perpetuity and technically speaking perpetuity talks about forever and when you talk of uh, incremental analysis it's it's just changes pagbabago abay napakaimportante pag may karelasyon ka alam mo yung mga pagbabago nung karelasyon mo kasi doon ka nag adjust and and besides um you would think of teka muna teka muna um prioridad niya ba ako gano dahil na bago nga yung behavior niya now knowing na, which among the activities you would be prioritizing because of the time constraint, you have to focus on what would be relevant and which would be significant. Kasi yung effect, yung ng decision, will be, will be somehow uh, looking at significance, the impact, ba? On management decisions. And when you talk about management, you are looking at vision, mission, goal, and the key performance indicator. And even in accounting, nga, we are using materiality concept and relevance uh, concept. Now, the application of this particular concept will be uh, differential analysis, variance analysis, and responsibility accounting. No? And as to management, that would be management by exemption. Then with the statistics, for you to determine how how far your expectation with reality that would be competing for the standard deviation. Um, kasi pag yung partner mo, ang laki-laki ng pagkakaiba nung uh, nangyari sa pangako, di ba, malaking adjustment. Kasi pag naliligaw sa'yo, syempre yung best ang pinapakita. Ang tanong, pag magkarelasyon na kayo, yung bang ginawa, ginagawa niya nung kay, siya ay... Uh, uh, naliligaw, na-sustain niya ba to? Tapos, ano yung mga nabago? ba? Kasi mas komportable na sa'yo. You'd be able to see uh, the reality. No? Eh, ganun din yan sa finance. And, and the good thing with correlation analysis, dun sa mga bagay na ginagawa na aktual, malalaman mo sa correlation analysis, alin yung sobrang 
nasisyahan ka, ano yung sobrang masasaktan ka. No? At sa finance, dapat alam mo kung alin yung significant alin yung most significant among the, fact, the factors affecting you para yun unang uunahin mo talaga. Okay? O, di pa tala tayo dun sa fifth item. Pag um, efficient, ano ba ibig sabihin ng efficient? Uh, i-relate muna natin sa relasyon para mas uh, uh, we would be able to discuss it in a more effective manner. Pag efficient, ibig lang sabihin open. Ang communication line nyo na magpartner. Remember, magkarelasyon na kayo. Yan yung efficient. Ngayon, pag sinabing capital market, ano ba yung capital market? This would be long-term orientation. Yung investment mo. Yung relasyon nyo, matagal na. Diba? At pagka long-term yan, kahit sa finance, Kaya kayo tumagal kasi nag-grow yung relasyon nyo, no? There is growth. So, kung efficient capital market entails um, an open communication with regards to the investment of entities involved, no? Open communication of the entities involved. And when you say entities, these are players, so ano ang ano yung churi niyan? Uh, ano yung assumption, no? Ano yung churi of uh, efficient capital market? Na yung yung uh, information available in the market ay actually unbiased. We are assuming unbiased information. And so the players because you have unbiased uh, information, no, because you have unbiased information, they can now rely, no, on the data provided by the market. Thus, uh, you can now make relevant uh, decision, appropriate actions, de ba? Kasi kung secretive yung partner mo, eh, mahirap. You don't you don't know what to expect. The good thing with the assumption of the efficient capital market, sinasabi niyan na uh, yung provided information in the market are actually unbiased. No? Thus, you can rely on it in making appropriate decision. But when is the time that you would be able to maximize returns? Because of the assumption of the efficient capital market. When there are changes if there are new information. Ang sabi dito, nagre-react daw yung mga players sa new information. Yung new information, ang tanong, is, is, is that significant change? Is there an abnormality? Kasi, ano yan, on a short-term basis, yung return mo, yung return mo, sa market will actually be gained from the abnormalities yung 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 changes no yung yung medyo hindi hindi normal na na nangyayari uh, and and because the information are unbiased then you would expect that there will be growth with regards to your investment okay now what's the limitation of the efficient capital market kapag ka overconfident ka Okay, pag, pag over, over, confident yung mga players. Masyado kang assuming doon sa partner mo. Tapos, over ka ding mag-react. Kasi dapat, laging ang titingnan mo bago ka mag-react, significant ba yung new information? Yun yun. So, sa efficient capital market, anong sinasabi niyan? We can rely on the information provided in the capital market for us to make a relevant decision. Now, ito medyo mapigat, no? yung salitang cursed. Pag ginamit mo yung salitang cursed, medyo negative ang connotation yan, right? Uh, pag sinabing cursed, adversity, yung challenges pag nakikipagrelasyon. Siyempre, pag, pag halimbawa merong changes, changes, in the behavior of your partner and even in the in the in the capital market there would be changes in the behavior of the financial asset what would you do 
Ang hirap mag-adjust, di ba? The, the challenge with the changes is what? Adjustment. Now, dito mag apply yung uh, since you are operating in a competitive environment, talagang there, there would be challenges. Mam, paano nagkaroon ang challenges in the operating in a in a competitive environment? There will be lots of player. Ang daming player. Lahat ng lahat ng positive ang return. Kumbaga sa sa um, yung nililigawan. Lahat ng magbibigay ng maximum return. Na, sa investment. Di ba yun yung gusto eh, yun, doon sila mag invest Para lang yan sa sino yung palaligawin. Sino yung marami nagkakagusto. Very attractive. Siyempre, y- lahat halos itong player na to, itong, itong mga player na to, ang gusto nila yung yung very attractive na na investment. Di ba? Ulit. So, sino yung ginugusto ng mga player sa market? Aba, ang ginugusto niyan, yung attractive na na investment. Eh, what do we mean by attractive investment? Ang attractive investment, siya yung nagbibigay ng mataas na return. Eh, dahil lahat, lahat, yun ang gusto. Remember sa Econ, meron tayong tinatawag na law. On diminishing return. Sa dami na nagkakagusto nito, no? E limited lang naman, marami ang nagde-demand. Sa dumadaming demand, bababa ang supply. O edi, ano mangyayari dyan? Mahihirapan ka ng maghanap habang tumatagal ng profitable venture. Eh ano ba sinasabi dun sa anong sinasabi dun sa efficient capital market? Ano yung sinasabi sa atin? Ang efficient capital market is long term. It is long term. If it is long term, napakahirap bang i-sustain yung lakas mo na makipagtunggali doon sa competitive market? Aba mahirap pa? Mahirap i-sustain. Yung, 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 yung lakas mo. Kasi ang dami-dami yung player. At isa lang naman ang pipiliin nung karelasyon mo. Although in finance, sabi nga, you are allowed to uh, practice sa uh, polygamy. ba Yan, polygamy. Eh, to diversify your investment, versus accounting na monogamy, eh, ang challenge dyan eh, sa dami nyong nagkakagusto, habang tumatagal, nakikita na yung tunay na ugali. No? Ah, malalama, at, at on a short term basis, you, you are, you are somehow, no, uh, re- required to also have make decision. Hindi naman pwedeng, Intayin mo yung napakatagal na panahon pag, pag nagdi-decision ka. Remember, decision is all about timeliness. Ang relevance, ang relevance uh, talks about timeliness. So, ano ang key takeaway natin pagka sa curse of uh, competitive market? Na, you need to realize that although open ang communication line, Although there would be uh, readily available information for you to make reliable, uh, for you to make relevant decision because of the reliable information. Sa dami kayong nangangarap, sa dami kayong nangangarap na na mag nakumita sa pangmahabang panahon. Eh, you can never be too greedy. No, ang 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 curse ng competitive market. Hindi pwedeng you are so greedy. Yung gusto mo, ikaw lang, ikaw lagi kumikita. That's not how life is. 
life is a cycle. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. No? Kaya, uh, you need to, to be prepared that sometimes you would really experience losses when you are investing. Yun yung sinasabi sa curse of competitive market. Parang iwan, pwede nating sabihin sa pang-araw-araw na buhay na mahirap mag-maintain ng isang relasyon no? na pang-matagalan. Um, pang-matagalan na relasyon, challenging yan. It's easier to start no? with the relationship uh, rather than maintaining the relationship. Diba? Uh, although super, super panunuyo ka pag nanliligaw ka. No? But uh, let me remind you, you can never be too greedy because life is a cycle. You win some, you lose some. And so, uh, you have to remember, the curse of competitive market, there will always be challenges. You just have to be able to uh, adjust your, your attitude on the risks and return trade-off because uh, in life, Sabi nga anak, in life, it's the 90-10 rule. Uh, what matters is is, is uh, not, not in, in your life, is uh, 10% lang yung, yung the event that you had experienced. But what's more important is how you react. Diba? O huwag niyong kakalimutan yung 90-10 rule. Uh, ito yung nangyari sa'yo. Ito yung reaction mo. No? So, sa finance, napaka-importante ng reaction mo uh, with what had happened to you. Kasi, ito, yung 10%, ano lang yung nangyari sa'yo, what happened. Pero how you react, di ba? Ito yung what happened. And then, how you react. That what would matter in finance. So, class, um, yung diniscuss natin na action number one hanggang action uh, number six, they are interrelated in making decisions. O, oh, may apat pang natitira sa atin. Um, in, in, let me remind you, ah, uh, the good thing with finance is you can be polygamous. Kasi you can engage yourself uh, on a short-term basis, on a long-term basis uh, to minimize your risk. So, okay, um, let's uh, reflect, retool, retain what we discussed for today. Uh, good day and be safe.